but it's not necessarily the one I care about. The second one is the one that I really care about. I, what are you asking me? In terms of taping it. Oh, I'm taping it anyway. You taping both of them? Yeah. Sorry, baby. Step all over here. <clears throat> Izzy Coleman of Psychology Today claims that anti-bullying legislation is turning our kids into emotional marshmallows. That all of us anti-bullying activists are taking the grit and grizzle out of our kids and making them too yellow. That the anti-bullying campaign, the ABC, teaches kids that they are entitled to a tease and bully-free life. A life without strife. And this is just ruining this generation of children. He advocates teaching the victims of teasing and bullying to do nothing. Literally, do nothing. Don't react, even if you're sucker punched in the psyche. Don't flinch if you're pinched in the underbelly of your ego. Don't scream ouch if your deepest fears are blown out publicly, because according to Coleman, this behavior encourages the bullies to bully. Because bullies are driven by one thing and one thing only, Kalman claims, the love of driving other people insane. Fuels their constant aggressive drive, so if you stop reacting, bullies cannot thrive. In fact, Kalman goes so far as to say that if you take away the victims of bullying, there will be no more bullies. So according to Coleman, it's the victims to blame that we have the bullying game. So instead of ABC, it should be BTV. Blame the victim, obviously. And he writes all this on, on his Psychology Today blog in the wake of the Jaheim Herrera suicide. An 11-year-old boy in Georgia who just couldn't take the daily berating from his peers. If only Jaheem had been stronger. If only in this homophobic country could an 11-year-old child from a dysfunctional family and a small town in DeKalb County could have known that there was nothing to react to when he was called gay. So Kalman goes on to say that ABC doesn't work since it teaches that being insulted is something to be offended by and being offended means that one should react and reacting just causes one to be insulted more. So let's put aside for the moment the bottles of dumb it downers that Kalman must be popping to support his pop psychology and get down to one, just one, of his points. ABC doesn't work. It's like the war on terror, or the war on drugs, or the war on poverty. It's negative, and if I'm part of an anti-bullying campaign, then aren't I putting bullies on the other team of this game? Just when I should be pulling together us all on one team, ABC makes it seem as though they're us, the victims, and them, the bullies. And this just doesn't make sense. So what if we thought of it like this? Let's create a pro-quirky campaign, which has the advantage of P and Q in the name. Mind your P's and Q's, your pleases and your thank yous. Let's teach everyone what we all have to gain. If everyone takes some of the blame and everyone is part of the solution, we could start a P and Q revolution. Because everyone is quirky about something. And quirky is funny, but it's also endearing. And it can be something that makes us vulnerable, but it's also something that makes us special. If everyone is quirky, then no one stands out. Let she who cl claims to be quirkless throw the first stone. And as soon as someone throws that first bone, let an emotion...
emotional literate step in to gently show how he or she has quirks without busting up her ego. Because really what it all comes down to is that the United States is filled with emotional illiterates. We've allowed generations to grow up incapable to speak about feelings and experiences about matters of great seriousness, but I'll be damned if I'm going to sit idly by and let my kids' generation grow up without fluency in emotionality. My 11-year-old daughter says that bullies bully because they may be abused at home and are looking to publicly humiliate someone in retribution. Bullies bully because they are afraid to be taken down by other kids. Bullies bully because they like to see others in pain. Because they are lonely. These are her words. And you may say to me, Pandora, your child is precocious or anomalous. But I'll tell you that the only reason she is is because when she was three and some kid around her was a bully, I asked her one simple question. Why do you think he does that? And at three, she said, he must be unhappy. Let's make every kid happy. Let's start a pro-quirky, pro-human, pro-compassion campaign to keep all of our kids safe and same.